do you realize that the first experience you had the first group of people that you met when you gave your life to christ has shaped your christian life till today for paul he met praying people so he later on in ministry he would make statements like i pray in tongues more than ye all those of you remember those of you that hate prayer you were born again and sent to a church that feasts on 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 what they call it motivational messages so all you know how to do is to fix a, a, a bow tie and a, and, a, and a suit where paul was raised they were praying and so even though the prayer meeting had ended the only thing he knew how to do was to pray he knew in his spirit there was a quiet witness that when he prays god answers and that witness nobody taught him it was the holy ghost that brought that impression on his heart there are so many things your pastor can tell you and there are many more things your pastor can never tell you you will need jesus through the holy ghost to tell you the things that will become the foundation of your future to come are things that you picked up in the educational system that the holy ghost is willing to give to you our generation is naked and blind the reason is because we have looked away from the holy ghost we move around in patchness and darkness and the little light we had is darkened he knew in his heart by a knowing of revelation that if he should speak to god god will hear that knowledge made him continue his own prayer beyond the prayer meeting when you find him he will be praying when Ananias came to, to Saul because he needed more insight from Jesus, knowing that Saul was a persecutor of the church, he raised those issues and Jesus now went deeper. I will show him the things that he needs to suffer to serve my way. And when Ananias came to pray for Paul, he didn't tell Paul, you are going to be the apostle of the next generation. You will suffer so many things. The things he picked up from his private fellowship with Jesus were not for public display. He just went there and said, uh, uh, Brother Saul. That was the first time he was called brother. And that pierced his heart. If you, if you check the writings of, of Paul in the days to come, in the future of his ministry, you will see that one of his most, most in-depth revelation was the revelation about the body of Christ because the first counselor that came to him even though he had a record of blasphemy was able to identify him by the spirit brother saw the lord jesus that appeared to you on the way to damascus he sent me to you that he may receive your sight he didn't tell him about ministry oh you are not with me you are not Ghana, you are not with me. Is it? Is it? I, I'm tempted to read it, but I'm also. I, I, I'm saying to you that you might receive your sight. That's number one. He said, You will see the righteous one. You have seen him before. <laughs> you will see him again. Huh? And you will hear words from his mouth. Those are the three things he told Paul. I came that you might receive your sight. I came that to put you on notice. You will see the righteous one. I came to put you on notice. You will hear words from his mouth. Not words from a preacher. But words from Jesus. That man was talking about his own private devotional life it was by jesus he received spiritual sight so he knew jesus could give physical sight it was by jesus when jesus appeared to him again and again he saw him he saw his shape he saw his form and he heard words from his mouth he, he had faith to speak the same words to paul because that was the texture of his own personal devotion He's, he had built a passageway 
into the wisdom of God. And his morning devotion were like encounters that people boast about today. Ghana, I come to you today in the name of the Lord. You will receive your sight. Oh Ghana. And you will see the righteous one. And you will hear words from his mouth. You will see him. Oh, when you see him, the things that make you afraid, that will lose their power over your soul, you will see him. And you will hear words from his mouth. They were, they were mighty apostles in those days. He didn't send any of them. He sent Ananias. I pray that the days that are ahead of us will be days when an ordinary believer who can walk up to walk up to the president of the nation and say, Oh, whilst I was with the master this morning in my devotion, the beauty of his light was casted upon my understanding, and my darkened mind became radiant, and I saw, and these words are true. And they will come to pass then the fear of god will, will come into the land he said you will see the righteous one and you will hear words from his mouth when last did you hear jesus when last did you see his form when last did you see his shape so that all the anxiety of your soul will fly away oh we come we come to you oh great one that during the course of these days you might pass go beyond the preacher and you yourself will appear unto your people that they might see you in these times of darkness and trouble and sorrow let the souls of men embrace you afresh 